Welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, I want to show you how to properly create a panorama inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So inside Photo Raw, I have these different panoramic stills that I took while panning across the Seattle skyline. So before we actually merge these together, let's talk about what you should use when you're shooting a panoramic photo. I would recommend using a tripod because it will allow you to keep your horizon line level when you're panning across your scene. Also, it will make sure that your camera is nice and stable so that all of your shots are nice and clear. Next thing I would recommend is try using a nice zoom lens, something like a 70 to 200 or a 100 to 400 because it will create nice compression and make everything seem a lot larger. So one piece of advice before actually merging these together is I would go in and bring out the tonality, correct the exposure, color, and modify these individual photos before you go in and select pano and merge them together. The reason being is that you have a lot more control with these raw image files now than you would when they're merged together into a panoramic photo. So I like to go in and select my first photo and then I'll head into edit. So inside the edit module, now we're gonna go in and modify this photo to bring out the basic tonalities of it. And then we'll take that look and we'll apply it to the rest of those images. Then we can actually merge those photos together into a panorama. So for this particular photo, I'm actually gonna crop it first just to make sure that everything is level. So I'll just head up and I'll rotate a little bit and it looks like my buildings were a little bit off. So I know now that I have to go and I have to apply this crop to the rest of my images. So I'll just hit enter to apply this crop. And now we'll head over to the develop tab here. And the first thing I wanna do to bring out the tone and color is I'm gonna change my camera profile to on one landscape. So you'll see with that on one landscape, it's already brought out the exposure a little bit. So let's go in and I'll pull up on the contrast a little bit, give it a little bit of a mid-tone boost, add some shadow tones, and then I'll bring in some nice contrast again with a little bit of a black slider, and then I'll pull up on the structure so that I have some detail. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we have a nice base tonality set for this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard and I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna select all of these photos. Now I'm gonna select sync so that I can sync these settings across all of them. And in this apply settings menu, I'm gonna make sure that I have my crop and level selected. And then I have my develop settings selected as well. So now we'll just apply this. And you'll see we've applied all of those settings to all of these photos. So now I'm just gonna head back into browse real quick. And now that we have all of these images selected, we'll head over and we'll select Pano. And so now it's pulled up a preview of our panorama that it's created. And it's done a really good job of stitching those images together and creating one large scene. So inside our panorama options, I'm gonna make sure that I have open and develop selected. Now I'll head down and I'll click save. So now we have an entire panorama photo that we can modify using our develop tab. So one thing when creating panoramas is if you have dust or lens spots, you're going to have a lot more once they merge together. So if I take a look here, you can see I have a lot of different dust spots and there's a lot more because it merged them all together and created different ones around my scene. So one thing, if you have dust spots like this, is I would recommend using your retouch tools over here. And one thing I really like to do is I like to use my perfect eraser. And I'll just brush over any of these lens spots and it will automatically fix them and remove them from my scene. So I'm just gonna repeat this process until I have all of the dust spots removed. So now I've gone in and I've removed all of the dust spots around my scene here. And you could also do this at the beginning and you could do it when you're applying the different tonalities to each photo. I just chose to do it when we merged it together. So for this particular photo, I'm just gonna pull back on the exposure a little bit, just a hair. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of a mid-tone boost, a little bit of a shadow boost, and then I'm gonna go into my effects tab here. I'm gonna add a filter 
and I'll stylize with a nice LUT filter. And I'm going to go into my preset styles, and I'll use this nice keen look. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we've really taken all of those photos, merged them together in one nice panorama, and then we've stylized that panoramic photo. I'm Dylan with On1. Thanks for watching my tip of the week, and stay tuned for more.